Hello everybody, Andrew here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Exturian Order playthrough, where today, I don't know if we're going to end up at war or not, but we're still going to be preparing for it. And we're going to be doing Reform the Armed Forces, get that recruitable population in, and defence, that will also be useful. We're ready to go straight for this as soon as. And we'll probably grab, we could strike them. Oh, impending doom, the dead tribe, which is... 10 defense and land for construction speed 75 for 2 days. I don't want to start the war. I want to be the one that gets declared for pawn. Because um, I just I just feel I feel better that way. Now I think what I'm gonna start doing is building a fallback line. There we go. Kind of like that. Just so hopefully that, um, just in case we do get forced back, then we'll be fine. The Tripartite Union. Um, who did you declare war on? Them. Rice Pact. Okay. Wow, they, they died. I'm still on their tree to check out. National Republic. This is mass assault doctrine. Yeah, no thanks. Mass assault sucks. Yeah, I'll take the recovery rate first. Right, we've reformed the armed forces. It's going to get some pony power. Can't get any more use, so we're going to have to start spamming up. Might actually leave some divisions on the fallback line just so they're already there. Here for the Dark Crusades. Yeah, they, they must start it from going down there. Oh, the Skyfall Republic is in another war. Oh, there's some ponies actually. Gold Heart, welcome. to the bottom. To be honest, we don't have any use for the support equipment, so Alcor surrenders to Wing Birdie. Wait, where am I building the force again? Aha, right. Dark clouds of the dread peninsula. In the dark and cold north, a great sickness plagues the land. Like a rampant tumour, a peninsula hangs off the face of Thorphonia. Tainting its otherwise pure image. The Dread League resides upon it, further tainting the continent. Reports from the border have revealed that this tumour wishes to spread its full influence across the world, casting darkness upon every inch of land, every city, every living thing. Nothing stands to survive in this sickness spread, if the sickness spreads. We must prepare, prepare to end it before it comes to that. The Dread Army will march. It's only a matter of time. We must use this calm before the inevitable undead storm to prepare for the war. Of the undead. We must isolate this sickness. Well, we are kind of ready. We have got the peasants. You guys need to exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Caphonian Empire declared one the Catherine Principality. That's probably more than the fort, isn't it? Yes. Right. Rally the knights. Get that war support up. The Grafonian Empire is getting thick very quick very quickly. Hmm, that's just a strawberry. So we can get them. Oh, you must be able to do all of that. And again, that's declare more on all of them, isn't it? Now you've got to choose between the unit. Whichever one of these you want. Skyfall Republic, Rising Empire, Reclaim the North, Reclaim Central Griffonia, Deal with the Aquilian Rabble, Lesson in Humility, Reclaim the Frontier, Shackle the Self, Integrate the Frontier, Reclaim our Colony, The Empire Strikes Back. 
Phony Empire has taken them out. I plays a Phony Empire again because I don't think I finished that playthrough either. Quite bad for that. I need to stop it. Alright, inflexible strategist. The Voodoo Cabal. Take the war is going to begin by event. Rally the knights, boys. Rally the knights. And then we're going to go on to. Uh, we're not going to do the undead menace. Construction engineer. Wait, do I have to start the war? Oh, if I feel ready. Right, we're going to wait till the first that fallback line has got some fortifications on it, and then we're going to go for it. Once everyone's exercised up as well. What's the chance of actually getting this up to... Um... Goes up by 5,000, and we're 8,000 on short. Save this for changing conscription. Go, my peasants, to the line. Yeah, we're going to save that. Change the occupied polar bears. Change, oh, the Northern Protectorate with Arthur James Penguinton. It's not Penguin. Oh gosh, yeah, they're in the uh, High Hills coup right now. Oh, Undying loyalty. Nah, uh, they maybe can start as well from the war plans. The Vidinian engagement. A new court. The Red Wedding. Oh gosh. Oh no, the Red Wedding. Just gives me flashbacks of, uh, you know, Game of Thrones there. Oh, you know, Wingbird has declared war on somebody. Oh, they've started a faction war. Well done, Bicolini. Oh, you're going to wipe that flipping floor with him. Oh, we've got a war in here as well. Knightly Order of Hellquill against the Longsorian Governate. Fascists against non aligned. We have 16 to 23, 11 to 31. They're both full of manpower. I mean, pony power. It's not great. Now, we could save up to make these guys stronger, we could get even more of them out. Five thousand short. Eh, keep that fuck over. Yeah, they could be very close for coming for us. Get the peasants. Try and get their 12 out. feel like it's better quantity over quality. We don't really have too much in the north, except from factories. <laughs> the Queen of Bones, your picture's changed, right? The Queen, Queen of the Dead. Factory output plus 50%. Not the Prime and Republic declare war in the county of Cyrenalicia. Oh, I didn't realise you. Socialist Republic uh, of the Northern Tribes against Socialist Republic of Scandinavia. Our 12 divisions. Get exercising. Uh, 
I think we're ready for this. Maybe. Try and get another tier on here. And then another one there. Bugger off multi factories. Oh, do we have a, do we have any air force? No. Do they have any air force? Yeah, they have sixteen to twenty. I wouldn't be able to research it anyways, because we're such a backwards nation. Yep, we need breech loaded rifles. Changing the equestrian border. Oh, that's going to kick off. Yeah, lead the armies. I'm sure that's the... Yep, annex against the... Annex war goal against equestrian crystal empire. The war is inevitable. Death is coming. Will free north puppets. Oh, they lost. Oh, no, they won. They won. Why did they puppet the Lord Annex then? I wonder if Stallion Grail will come and join their side. What to do with the voodoo? <coughs> I'm, I'm really going quantity over quality, I have to say. Might be a good idea, might not be, might bite me in the arse. At least we got that fallback. So what's the construction speed on land force right now? 10. 30. It's up to 40 because I've got construction engineering on. Can also get up by 75% if we do it. That. Which I think we'll be able to do very soon. I'm just going to wait till these guys exercise and then we're going for it. Yeah, we're currently sitting with 20 there. That's not going to survive. Any chance we could? If I bin these, six. That's 3k guns. What would, what would it cost me to change this up again? I need to get more folk exercising. Thousand short. Eight thousand. Well, if we've been another six, and there we go. There's the equestria, the uh, the equestrian war. Right, that's got 6k guns. Can we please kind of increase this? Yeah, we're gonna, it's going to be close, but I think we can achieve it. Quick exercise for you. Voodoo for the Dread Council. Now, we just have to survive long enough. Skyfall Republic's gone as well. Bloody hell. We just have to survive long enough until we get to Shield of Light. Man, we've got so much political power. Oh, well, we could use it for more of the war. Mm, King of Wing Birdies declare we're in the bandits now. Hire gunsmiths. I think you're going to die. Wow. Wing birdie is getting hella thick. So is the Graphonian Empire. The Rising Empire. What does that do again? Course? Not yet lost. End of the Republican dream. Hang the traitor. Wow, that literally used up all our 40 power. But at least now, when we look here. It's 18 now. What, 20? Wait, why is it only 10? Oh, because it is only 10. Oh, they've got a lot there. Hmm. <laughs> 121 days. 
days. This could be rough. This could be very rough. I'm kind of worried slightly. Are you guys almost finished exercising? I think we are. Yep, we're good. Kind of Zavz Zapzia. Where we're in the Prime Republic. You're getting gobbled up and off. You mean had an explosion? Interesting. Wonder what uh, casualties are like. Only ninety percent. Oh gosh, the Great War. Pretty even right now. Ninety Dragon Isles against Hawkland. Do you have a tree? Why the hell are you two at war with each other? Why the feck are you guys each? Oh, more fighting. And the Prime One Republic's dead. Who's this? No, oh, okay. They, did they seriously pop it then? Days you just declare war on all the north. I don't know if any ideas coming from you, like. No, oh, there goes the Griffonian Republic and attacked as well. I don't know, mean to do that. How much longer is this going to take? 88 days. It's gonna take 140 days, let's start this. The Undead Menace. Oh, I didn't run any fortifications. Gosh, should we have the Navy try a naval invasion? Oh my days. Can you stop? Holy mo- they went communist. Are you sure? Oh my days, you have a lot of divisions. Holy hell, man. Oh gosh, stop it. You would declare war at Hawk Lab. Just slightly a little bit insane by the Empire. But uh, they are fascists, so. Well. And they, they're at war with all them. Can't wait to see them take on Bloody the River Republic. We buffer zone between them. Yes, we are ready for this, my minions. Wait, did I just build forts in this stupid spot? Yep. Yep, I did. That's not even on the border. You idiot, Geneva. You absolute idiot. The garrison of Pomveria is at war with each other. Where are you? Oh. Where is that garrison? Is that it? Oh, it's gone already. It was there. Oh, I think you may be struggling slightly. Do you want to stop declaring war on everyone? Supposed to take up. Oh. Yeah, I think they may end up winning. The royal wedding. Princess of righteousness killed tactician. Okay. Oh. It's opened up a part of the tree. Join the Entente. Join the Pangraphonian Alliance. You get your chivalry. Okay. Always use the last standing force attack command abilities at a great low just cost. 
former princess. Warrior princess, the authoritarian prince. Although that, I read that all wrong. Yeah, we, we have a princess, a prince and a prince. A lover in land. She's not a bad leader at all, though. Not bad. Questria loses tall hail. Oh no, they're pushing in. Oh, we're kind of evenish. Might as well grab some of these. Still gonna have enough points to use up, so. Follow Cloudberry. How's the. Uh... Oh my gosh. Wait, they declare war on Wingbirdie. It's very even that war. Can you finish the. Co oh, you are so screwed. What is the Griffonian Empire doing? Like, everybody and their mums is basically against them. Oh, here comes our conflict. Oh, we'll bin these because we're going to have um, 75 plus construction speed for uh, you know the land forts. So we're going to be building up this uh, new Grafonia declared when the Penguin Republic, Avian State's gone. Just watch as you hit by instant red. Right, you know what to do, boys, in the grace of the divine. The Dreadly Attacks, the Arcturian Order Besieged, the Arc Crusader and the Arcturian Order. Decades of foreboding dread and years of preparation have gone into readying ourselves against this event. We received our news when the horns of war so near the eastern walls of Master Horde of Skeletons herald the first wave. It was beaten back, but Rosa, male dicta, the Queen of Bones, is persistent and will not give up her crusade against us or life itself. The World Council has been called in session to deliberate over our options regarding the eastern menace, which is the Dreadly. Our options are limited, as there are time to consider them. As there's our time to consider them. Yes, they would come, we must act quickly. Hell yeah, we're acting quickly. Mobilization, service by requirement. Limited exports. Oh, well, I don't think we need limited exports, but we've done it. We need to get this wall built. Need to get the wall built. And we have to survive what? 70, that's 240, 480 days. Can we survive a year? Can we survive a year? Who knows? Who knows? I hope so. Well, until 10, October. Sea to defense and security eastern border. That's not even where we're building forts. Oh, we've got upgraded infantry equipment, which we're not even going to use. But, um... Oh, a thousand days. There's no point actually researching bloody anything. I guess we'll start... I guess we'll start it. Yeah, we're just going to... We're going to use muzzle-loading weapons. We're going to shoot those skeletons dead. Forty to eighty-two. Holy moly. Give me those war bonds. A plea for aid. It's going to take us a while to get that. Allows the resuit. Volunteers, approve relations, ask for land leads, receive land leads, and quest. License function. Some actions are DLC dependent. Grafonian Empire, Grafonian Republic, Watertown, and two others. Yeah, because the Grafonian Empire has taken everybody out. Well, not everybody. They've got the naval invaded by the, the communists. Fight against electricity. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Oh, you Graf Nova Grafonia is getting a bit ballsy. Excuse me. This whole continent's on fire. The only nation is not a war is Stalingrad. Well, yep, that is literally it. Stalingrad's the only one. The Grafonian Empire is wanting to die. Out of manpower. Are they out of manpower? No, they've still got a lot. They're on service by requirement now. For the glory, 
Consecrated home. I'm gonna go for you. Which means we're gonna get some stability. Defense. Uh, defense is, I think, the best offense in this case. Well, saying that, I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to look at it and just acknowledge it. And we're going to move on. Yep, there goes, there goes another nation. Cryphonian Empire. Oh, they're getting a pushback. Oh, well, they've got this lot surrounded. What is the casualties in that war? Great War, Griffonian Northern War. Oh, my sweet mother God. Look at them all. They really need to start capitulating some of them so close to the capital. They need to send more troops in this way rather than going over the river. Yeah, and those forts on the fallback line. Now oh, we know about the, the, this for much longer. These land fort constructions are about 20% from that. Revolutionary decree of Scandinavian Socialist Republic. Glorious. A glorious. Oh, they've got 51 divisions on their border. Wow. We have manpower and guns. Can we further increase? We can. We can. Getting our two divisions out. We shall fight to the death. And then we'll try and take on the Griffonian Empire. <laughs> no, we'll work down the coal. Oh, no, we won't. Holy hell, the river coalition's getting bloody thick. Holy balls. Gonna get kind of boxed in. Could always try and take out these guys. It's going to be a short series anyways, this one. It's not exactly the, the biggest tree or anything. Alright, we're getting there. Holy rights. The effects of partisans on us is, what, minus 25. Please for help, it's going to be good. Shire has fallen. Um, I have to say this war is um, in in interesting. The flesh market. Oh, ghouls. Finish division attrition minus fifty percent. Supply control minus ten. Train time minus ten. Controlled by apocalypse. Should probably keep an eye on the. The game itself. One more knight. And one more peasant. This fallback lane is... It's, it's looking good. The fallback lane is... Going to be even stronger than our main lane. Quality under mail bits. Where are you? Stability. Dockyards, anti technology, early destroyer hull, naval gunnery, basic torpedo, stimulus class, four destroyers. Alright, they got a navy. Impending doing the dread tide. Oh no! We lost one of our bonuses of defense. Although we're going for a plea for help very soon. And again, there's only really five nations that could help us, and they're all war, I think. The majority of them are. Not water towns. I'm guessing two others are maybe Farbrook and Fir Trees. And they're all... Why is the communists in... You shouldn't be allowed in there. Oh. 
Dreams of a Federation. All nations who are River Union members will join the Federation under your command. Pacify the North. Oh, taking out guys. Taking out guys. Oh, we got more pony power just sitting there, so I guess. Some more divisions. To the fallback line. <laughs> These three, to the fallback line. Can I get another four, actually? Just because you know what, I'm like, my even numbers. No surrender, no retreat. We could do this. We can do this. I'm gonna exercise these guys as well since they're nowhere near the conflict. And war bonds there again. Yep. I don't need to do any propaganda effects. And the Griffonian Republic was taken care of. They'll be able to kill the traitor now. Hang him. Report from Attaché. Completely unlike the decision to interact with the changelings of Attaché. Oh. I wonder if you can maybe stop them from killing that general that doesn't want to go home. A plea for aid. Time to get that aid, hopefully. Right, we need more, a little more there. The Penguin Republic was taken care of. Only a, uh, Nova Grafonia is looking pretty strong. Struggling with Jakistan, though, kind of with Jakistan. Um, how's the um, Great War going? Oh my days, they both lost two mil. That's, we've literally done nothing. Um, 19,762. Like how mine's not regarded as having... Oh, it doesn't have any majors in it. Everything else does. Oh, well. We're just protecting everyone in the north. But, you know, it's fine. Just forget about us. We're not important, apparently. Two more nights out. Come on, give me a plea. Give me, let, accept my plea for aid, people who are at peace anyways. Gosh, how am I, how am I gonna stop the Grafonian Empire? <laughs> We're just gonna be chilling in the north. We're gonna take all them. So there's a war going them. Barbrook. Okay. Set them a communist diplomacy. Flying columns. I had flying bloody columns. Living in Swede, oh my days, that's actually not too bad. Don't ever come and attack me, don't even get any... Oh my days, all adults serve. They're gonna get lots of core on their lands soon though. Oh, they're pushing everyone back. Scraping the barrel. Yes. Thank you, but you're a war. Why would you send me that? Blessings from the gods. Um, Glenton of Blair has sent us able body recruits to join our army. These soldiers are to survive on the containment of Dreadleague. We are forever in their debt. 5,000. Phony Emperor denies, denies us aid. You dicks. You know it was going to be the case. Why would they help me? Oh my days. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me those guns. So many people helping me out. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we will finish off the War with the Dread League next episode. So until then, take care. Cheerio. Bye. Then now.